with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here, he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Jackson. Open man, Gronkowski can play. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 31. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. On second and 11 now. Jackson throwing for the out route. He finds Wilson. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 20-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Jordan Akins. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Titans put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Now Mike Vrabel going to tell the offense to go for two here. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And that is going to be caught. And it moves the lead to 8-0. And what a way to cap off the opening touchdown drive. You go for two, and you get it. Remember when the PAT or the extra point was a gimme? Right, not plus 99%. It's not that way anymore, so more people are willing to take a chance, go for two, and take the kicker a little bit out of the game. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by the Hall of Famer, Ronnie Long. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. So already trailing, Charles, they opted to try to take a shot on their first play from scrimmage. Obviously, that one didn't pan out. Absolutely not. And how about the momentum that's being created now? You score, you take it away, big return. You've got a chance to go up two touchdowns here early in the game. That'll feel great for their team. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
They pitch it out to Johnson. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Eric Dickerson, 31 yards. And the tight. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talked about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's Michael Badgley now to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Now second and seven from the 23. Now it's Burrow. This one complete to the running back, Chase Edmonds. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. They accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Off the play fake. Here's Burrow. And that's complete to Sanders. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And they go play action now. Burrow. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had him back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Oh, it was hit at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked by Ted Hendricks. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, they were advancing the ball. They had a couple first downs under their belt, but a big mistake there on the opening drive leads to six points the other direction. And what a good read that was on his part, Brandon, because it prevents a possible scoring drive with how they were moving things along. And it gives the defense the early advantage of what's going to be a definitely entertaining battle between these units. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack of a two-point drive. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken.
with Charles Davis. As always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's Michael Badgley now to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. 